Hi, welcome everybody on my channel. Recently, many people have asked me to shoot a guide how to make a corn mash. That is why I invite everyone interested in this topic to watch the movie. To prepare the mash, we will need 8.5 kilograms or 18.5 pounds of corn, 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds barley malt, and the alpha amylase enzyme. Barley malt can be replaced by the beta amylase enzyme. However, I am in favor of using malt because it contains enzymes and in addition, the starch it contains increases the mash efficiency. Before we start preparing our mash, we have to grind the ingredients. I bought barley malt already grinded, but I have to grind the corn myself. I discussed the grinding process in another video. You can find the link to it in the description below this video. When we grind all the ingredients, we start preparing the mash. Pour 35 liters or 9 gallons of water into the pot and heat it to 75 Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit. To shorten the time of water heating, we can add boiling water. When the water reaches a right temperature, we pour corn in batches and mix thoroughly. We set the burner heating power so that the temperature stays around 75 Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit. We keep the temperature in the pot for the next 2.5 hours. Stir frequently so that the corn does not stick to the bottom. During this time, the starch contained in the grain swells and then breaks. That makes it more accessible to enzymes which will then turn it into fermentable sugars. The process that is taking place is commonly called pasting. Corn pasting temperature is between 62 and 75 degrees Celsius, or between 143 and 167 degrees Fahrenheit. After 2.5 hours we prepare the alpha amylase enzyme, and then we add it to the mash. To make the enzyme better combine with the corn, add it to the glass with warm water, and after complete dissolution, add gradually to the pot, mixing thoroughly. After adding the alpha amylase enzyme, we keep the temperature of 75 Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit for the next 1.5 hours. After 1.5 hours we turn the heating off, and when the temperature reaches 65 Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit we add barley malt and mix thoroughly. Malt enzymes will start to break down starch into simple sugars which then thanks to yeast will be converted into alcohol. Optimal temperature of the beta amylase enzyme, it is in the range of 60 to 65 Celsius or 140 to 150 Fahrenheit. And at this temperature we keep our mash for another 4.5 hours, stirring from time to time. As we can see, water begins to separate on the top of the mash. This is a sign that our enzymes are starting to work. 2.5 hours have passed since the addition of barley malt. Let's check what BLG we have managed to get at the moment. BLG is currently 12 or 1.048 specific gravity. This means every 100 milliliters of mash has 12 grams of sugar. After another 2 hours we will return to the BLG measurement again. Four point five hours have passed since the addition of barley malt, and BLG in our mash is a little over 15. Turn off the heating and leave the mash to cool. 
To avoid mash infection, we cool it as soon as possible. There are special copper coolers for this purpose. Unfortunately, I do not have one. That is why I cool my mash with steamed and then frozen refrigerator cartridges. When the temperature drops to about 35 Celsius or 95 Fahrenheit, we filter the mash. For this purpose I use a cotton kitchen cloth stitched into a horn. It is best that it is not too thick, because it will make filtration harder. We can also use filter gauze. At this stage, I recommend adding a measure to prevent foaming mash, because this type of mash works very intensively. When the mash temperature reaches the optimum level for your yeast, you will find this information on the packaging. We add them as recommended by the manufacturer. After about a week, when the mash stops working and the BLG drops to around zero, we can proceed to distillation. I discussed the distillation process in my other films. A link to them can be found in the description under this video. After a week, the yeast processed all sugar and BLG fell to zero. It is worth filtering the mash again before distilling. If you liked my video, leave a thumbs up and a comment to make this movie reach more people. I also recommend subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss my next videos.